Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we have part two of my go-to lashes, hitches, and knots. So stick around. Last time we talked about simplicity. With that comes the ability to do more with less. I also mentioned that I'm of the opinion that one could possibly survive a long-term survival situation armed with a few hitches, couple of lashes, and a handful of knots. So today I want to end this two-part series with a couple more hitches, followed by some of my go-to lashes. Let's get started. Tying a clove hitch is pretty simple. Just take one end, and all you're gonna do is wrap it around and form an X. Now pass your end underneath that X. Dress it up, and pull it tight. For option two, take your cordage, and you're gonna make two loops. I notice your vertical is behind your horizontal. Now for the second one, you want your vertical in front of your horizontal. This one's in front, this is behind. Now all you're gonna do is take this one and lay it down. Slide it over and dress it up. And there's your clove hitch. Now let's go ahead and move on to our timber hitch. Take your cordage, I'm just gonna wrap it around. I'm gonna go underneath and it forms a little seat right there. And now we're gonna just twist it under and over itself between three and five times. And there's your timber hitch. So now what I wanna do so I want to go ahead and combine our timber hitch, which we have one tied up there. With our Marlin spike hitch from our previous video. I'll grab a stick for a toggle. All I'm going to do, tie our Marlin spike hitch, rotate it over, lay it down on itself, and pull it through. It forms that pocket right there. Taking our stick for our toggle. Cinching that up forms a T-handle. And now I can yank that log or the heavy piece of wood down this hill back to my base camp. And now for your top line hitch, what you want to do is go underneath, come back up. Now keep in mind there's several variations of this. I'm going to go around once. Go around twice. I'm going to come back up. Go around and bring it through. And then just dress it up. You should get something that looks like this. And all you gotta do is pull it tight. So far, so good. Now, as usual, let's take what we learned and apply that to some basic lashes. Now 
we're going to start off with a timber hitch. And to do that, all we're going to do is go up around, I'm going to cross it over, and that forms like a seat right there. Now from here, all I'm going to do is twist underneath itself three to five times. That's called a timber hitch. And I'm just going to pull it tight. Now from here, I want to wrap around these three poles three to six times. Then from here, I want to wrap in between the poles anywhere from one to three times, and that's called a frap. And pull it tight. Go one more. Now I'm going to cross over, do the exact same thing right here. We're going to finish it off right here with a clove hitch and an overhand knot. There's our X. I'm going to feed it back up through and go underneath our X. We'll pull it tight. Put an overhand knot right there, or a pretzel knot, and all it's going to do is act as a stopper knot in case it wants to slip. And to guarantee that it's not going to move, I always burn the end. It melts like paracord, and I just melt it right to that clove hitch. So just like last time, we're going to go ahead and start off our diagonal lash using a timber hitch. So all I did is you go up around, I'm going to go underneath, and it forms that small seat. Then from here we're going to wrap it around itself three to five times. And then just pull it tight. Now from here, all I'm going to do, we're going to go around three times this way, cross over and go three times that way.
Now from here, I'm going to wrap it between my two poles. That's called a frap. We're going to do that three times. I'm going to pull it really tight. Get one more on there. And sometimes you grab a stick and wrap around a stick and pull it tight using the stick as a toggle. Now from here, we want to finish this off with a clove hitch. And you can do it here or you can do it here. There's the X. All we're going to do is we're going to pass it underneath that X. Try and dress it up a little bit. And what I like to do is pull down on it to tighten it. And I'll finish it off here with an overhand knot or a pretzel knot. Good to go. I'm going to start my square lash off using a clove hitch. Go ahead and tighten it down. Now I'm take my short end. I'm going to wrap it around several times. And this becomes a timber hitch. Now from here it's pretty simple, all you do is wrap it around each log three times. Under, over, and around. Every so often you pull it tight. Now once you've wrapped around three times, you want to wrap between your pole and your stick. This is called a frap. Just go around three times. Use a stick for a toggle. Pull it tight. After your third pass, I'm going to go ahead and finish on this side using a clove hitch.
Welcome back. That was good to go. Now if you haven't already, go back and check out part one and keep the mindset of simplicity. You want to do these over and over again until you can't do them wrong. Why? Because it builds muscle memory and most importantly, the practice will make you better. Thank you for your comments and your support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.